When the moon is eclipsed, only the refracted light from the Earth's atmosphere reaches it. A phenomenon known to meteorology as ray wave scattering is the natural process that plays a vital role in lunar eclipse. The green and the blue lights are scattered, but the red wavelengths get filtered out. That is the same reason why the sun appears red during sunrise and sunset. Meteorologist by merit and assistant director of forecasting and warning, Mr. Benjamin Malai, highlighted the processes involved during the fall of a lunar eclipse. If there was no atmosphere, you wouldn't have the red blood moon. So what actually happens is you have the rays from the sun passing through the earth in order to reach the moon. But because the moon is so small, it is hidden at the back of the earth. However, having the presence of the atmosphere, there is something we call Rayleigh scattering in the atmosphere. That is where there are particles in the atmosphere. They tend to deflect or scatter rays from the sun, but not all the rays that is being um, scattered in the atmosphere. It's only to do with different wavelengths, and there is the wavelength with the red light, and that red light is scattered in the atmosphere, reaching at the back of the sun where the moon is placed, and that's why the moon appears red, giving that name blood moon. Mr. Malai added that the degree of redness of a fully eclipsed moon can be influenced by atmospheric conditions, while its duration entirely depends on the moon's orbiting patterns in conjunction with the size of the moon. The head is much, much bigger than the sun. Imagine if the sun, uh, the moon was in front of the sun, uh, in front of the earth. Most of the rays will be passing through the moon, reaching the earth. Uh, that's when you have the solar eclipse, and the duration would be much uh, lesser than the lunar eclipse. Lunar eclipse, the moon is placed at the back of the sun in the same plane, and because of the scattering in the atmosphere, you will have only the red light reaching the moon. And given that the Earth is bigger than the Moon, the duration will seem to be more longer than the solar eclipse. The eclipse witnessed last night is the last of the four series of 2022 eclipse predicted by science to take place. The next lunar eclipse, as predicted by NASA, will take place on March 14, 2025. Lisa Puni, National MTV News.